was a boy, my mother used to tell me a story of a demon king and his army. They brought fire and terror to the land. Until they faced the protector of the people, the white monkey. city. The rich don't see us as people. Give me the job no one wants to do. I'll do it. Anyone who forgets their place, it doesn't turn out well for them. Every day, I've prayed for a way to protect the weak. I've got an answer to every prayer. I call her Nikki. Minaj! Big bumper? Nice headlights. Let's boogie! Hello. My name is Michael Morley. And I'm here to review Monkey Man. Directed, produced, written, and starring Dev Patel and Shalto Kople. Man, this movie was originally meant to go to Netflix, but Jordan Peele, the guy who directed movies like, you know, all the horror movies with black people, <laughs> Us, Get Out, Nope. He saw that movie and said, this needs to go to the cinemas. And I got to say, I'm glad that he purchased this movie. I'm glad that his company, Monkey Paw, took it. Because this movie was one hell of a ride to watch at the cinemas. It was an Indian movie. I love the culture in this movie. It brings an originality to the film. Dev Patel, this is his directorial debut. And you can just tell that this was his baby. He put his heart, energy, and soul into this. This is one of his best performances too. Apparently went for a lot of... A lot of problem with production on set, even injuring himself, breaking his arm while acting in this movie because he does all his fighting and choreography and stunts and he's directing it at the same time. And that ain't no easy task, especially with all the fighting he does in this movie. And I've got to say, this is one of the best fighting I have seen this year. The directing he uses, the way he films is like in the heat of the moment. I wouldn't call it shaky cam, but he uses it so well in the moments of when it's appropriate to shake the camera. He does it in an appropriate moment of when a character will do a somersault or do a backflip on the ground or someone is getting hit and, and you can just, it just, the way he, he uses the camera, it goes so well with the moment of what's been captured. I have to say, man, Man, lots of passion and love went into this. This is like, I, I thought I was going to go in watching John Wick, but it is very different to John Wick. He is an Indian that's raised our Indian culture. Something happens to him when he's younger. His mother dies. He then grows up. He's looking back at the past and he's trying to get vengeance on the death of his mother. And he goes and works at the Crown Casino because this is where all the dodgy people hang out. And this is these are the people that were the ones that, tortured and killed his mother. He basically goes in there to instigate and get vengeance and basically kill these people. It's done so well. It's got really good humor in it too. There's lots of dark comedy in it. Great fighting and great directing. I mean, Death Patel, man, you've got a future as a director, my man, especially like he wrote this as well. Like, good job. <laughs> You, you started on a lightning on a bottle, my man. And this is only a $10 million budget. Like, it just shows you that a movie, even though people go $10 million, that is a lot of money. But for a film, that is low budget. He made this movie, he did a lot with it for what that budget that he had. He did a lot with it. And, man, if you love these sort of movies, fighting, vengeance, revenge, blood, shooting, <laughs> destruction... Indian vibes and the culture of India. This is the movie for you. Nine out of ten. Don't call me son. It's time to remember who you are. But only love kills more when will they learn?
just one small ember can burn down everything. I'm Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready?